The scientific name of the plant commonly known as American Columbo is Frasera caroliniensis because it was first discovered by botanists in the Carolinas. It's in the gentian family, the gentianaceae. The plant grows throughout the southeastern U.S., extending up as far as the very southern tier of Ontario and making it as far west as eastern Oklahoma. It will live for many years before it flowers, so normally it, it's only growing so that it's about 18 inches tall as a cluster of leaves on the ground, but when it flowers, it will get to be six or seven feet tall. What people have typically observed is that the plants are probably in that range of 30 years or so old when they will flower. The flowers are beautiful and interesting because in the middle of each of the four petals is a large nectary that is fringed. And so this provides the primary reward for insects that are coming to pollinate it. When the plant's not flowering, unless you knew what it was, you wouldn't recognize it because again, it's just a rosette of leaves sitting on the ground. Once the flowers have finished blooming, been pollinated, then each flower will mature a capsule containing the seeds inside. After the plant flowers, it will die. So it lives long enough to take the fruits that develop, which are dry capsules, and mature the seeds that are sitting in there. And so it lives long enough to actually take the reproduction of the flowers and to transform that into seeds which are then dispersed to start the next generation. I tell people it looks like a flower that came from another planet just because of the very unusual design of it.